The Tall Adventure Film Festival is one festival you can come out to and see the best action and adventure sports films and photography all in one night. The Tile Adventure Film Festival is the one time each year that our entire community gets together socially to celebrate where we live, what we love to do in our lifestyle. The festival itself was crazy. I'd never been to that kind of like a full party with so many people that were all psyched, all part of the same like mountain community. It's really the Oscars of Lake Tahoe. Here's a shirt for somebody. Yeah! My name is Todd Offenbach. I work for the Resort Sports Network as a TV host for the Tahoe Today Show. I created the Tahoe Adventure Film Festival in 2004. I'm an adventure skier, an adventure climber. I've traveled around the world climbing. I'm just an absolute adventure junkie. So when I got laid up with an injury back in 2004, and the idea was created. Hey, let's put together a bunch of these different movies. Let's make something well balanced. And that was really the beginning of the Tahoe Adventure Film Festival. It's a homespun, organically grown product. You know, this started as a bunch of buddies sitting in Todd's house watching slides and then eventually evolved into a slide show or sets of shows in the uh, back room of, of the Super 8 Motel. You know, we've now sold out the biggest venue in Lake Tahoe. It's the biggest single gathering in Lake Tahoe. It's how great events are formed. It's not a marketing team sitting around dreaming up how to sell tickets. It's um, doing it from the heart. It's creating something that people want and something that Todd believes in. One thing that really makes our festival unique, and I think that the filmmakers have really enjoyed and like about the festival, is instead of coming out and seeing full-length films in skiing and full-length full films in base jumping and climbing in these sports, we take segments, or we have a, uh, the filmmaker edit something specifically for our festival. So it's basically shorts and segments. They pretty much spanned the whole range of outdoor activities, and they were all super impressive, and like, and everybody was into them. Like, yeah, I thought it was a perfect just summary of the whole outdoor scene. Everyone is there from the best athletes in the world to the best filmmakers in the world to the, to the movers and shakers of our community to all of our just great friends. And um, it's that one time where we get to, well, that's not true. I was going to say we get to like relax a little bit and drink a beer, but we do that every night in Tahoe. The festival was like a perfect summary of the whole outdoor culture or whatever. Everybody was like a little buzzed. Everybody was heckling Todd. Like, it's pretty fun. Everybody's psyched. This is fun. It's uplifting, it's upbeat, and it's, it's a pause. So people come away with the inspired by it. I see the kayakers and I'm like, that's ridiculous, you know? But then the kayakers see the climbing and they're like, that's out of control. And then everybody sees the skiers and they're like, that's crazy. But everybody has like a mutual respect for the other, the other sports. We don't judge the films. We celebrate them. We celebrate the mountain lifestyle. When you're in the audience, you can't help but get excited about the films, get excited about outdoor adventure, get excited about getting out of your seat and actually going outside and, and experiencing the wild places of the world around us. The Golden Camelot Award is an award we give away every year to either a filmmaker or an athlete. And for those that don't know, the Camelot is a, a piece of climbing equipment used to protect climbers in the mountains and has probably saved countless lives. The Golden Camelot is 24 karat solid gold. It's blessed by the Pope and the Dalai Lama. Well, in the past, uh, Royal Robbins received the Golden Camelot. Glenn Plake, the skier recognized with his mohawk uh, internationally. Uh, Alex Honnold uh, won the Golden Camelot for his uh, solo, free solo of Half Dome and, and Moonlight Buttress. Last year, uh, Jeremy Jones won the Golden Camelot for his accomplishments in snowboarding and big mountain snowboarding. For me, one of the, the, one of the greatest festivals we had was, was when Fred Becky got the Golden Camelot Award. He was 86 when he got the Golden Camelot Award. I was sort of half tasked with getting Fred Becky to the event and making sure that he was there. And so, of course, up until about 12 hours before the film festival, I was still debating with Fred whether he was going to make the film festival because his quote on the phone was, there might be some ice forming on the Eastern Sierra. You know, a guy in his 80s is still being pulled to like, should he be climbing or receiving this Lifetime Achievement Award? Corey Rich and I got together. We, got, we kind of tricked Fred into wearing a tuxedo to the festival. I'll never forget that moment where, you know, Fred Becky comes into the room wearing a tuxedo 
And I'm, I'm certain it was the first time Fred Becky's ever worn a tuxedo in his lifetime. And it was just great, because Fred's just the quintessential climbing bum. Here's a guy that has done thousands of first descents, probably more first descents than any human alive. And uh, he was so nervous about taking the tuxedo off and, and remembering or being capable of putting it back on that he just left it on all day. <laughs> you know, he can navigate to the top of a you know, high mountain with mixed rock and ice climbing, but he can't put a tuxedo on. That alone, having Fred Becky in a tuxedo at our film festival, uh, celebrating our lifestyle and, 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 and culture, that, that was definitely very memorable, I think for a lot of us. To see Fred glowing up there on stage and to really acknowledge that, you know, a thousand plus people were sitting in the audience admiring this legend of rock climbing. You know, he's a one of a kind and he's, he, he, is, he really epitomizes, Fred Becky really epitomizes what the film festival is about. It's about honoring and admiring and saluting and celebrating adventure and guys like Fred Becky that have committed their lives to being outside and pushing the limits of adventure. I think it's just really important to, to bring our whole mountain tribe together for one night to really celebrate our lifestyle. I hope that people come away from the festival motivated, uh, whether it be to, to, to ski harder or, or to travel and get out and see the world. Or, or maybe it's just someone wants to just walk their dog a few blocks further. So yes, ideally people come away motivated and inspired and also have an insight to, uh, to what, where the progression's going in these action and adventure sports.